Welcome back to Science Rocks. We're always looking for new innovative curriculum to add to our after school STEM academies. And in fourth grade this year, we're using Mad Learn, which is an app development program. Come attend one of our teacher trainings to check it out. The teachers are going to learn to be able to have their students build mobile apps using a proprietary software system that is web-based. So the students can use this on any kind of device that they want to, and uh, the, the, uh, the, the software makes it so that they can do this without having to know any coding or anything like that. The main point of the project is really to teach the design thinking process and use the building of a mobile app as the vehicle for that. Part of what I hope you'll take away today is the fact that there are a lot of things to go into. There's a place at the table for all kinds of things. Well, from both, uh, it's nice that it's being used in a variety of different ways. It's used in STEM classes, but it's also used in core curricular classes as a unique kind of a presentation tool. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's funny to think that uh, PowerPoint is kind of outdated, uh, but uh, for students, this is the world they live in. They live in a mobile world. This is what they relate to. This is what's relevant to them. And so any of the work that they do, if it can be put on to a mobile device, and it's one of the nice things about our product is that they can, even while they're building their uh, apps, see their uh, apps on any kind of device, whether it be an Android or an iOS phone. Uh, a tablet or what have you, they're able to see these uh, works in progress and they get very excited app about list. it. Your app list is blank now. Go ahead and click on app list on yours and you should see something that probably is a mobile device that says something about inviting you to build your first app. Is that correct? What they love most about it is the fact that they can share it readily with others. Um, okay. They can you know, take it home and show their parents what they're doing and they're seeing it on their own devices, they're seeing it on you know, any devices that are out there, they can share it with their friends, uh, they can share it with their classmates, um, whoever, even relatives overseas or, or what have you. Uh, they're able to share their work with a very broad audience and that's what is exciting to them. It's also exciting to them to get the kind of immediate feedback that they get from being able to see their work you know, even in the early stages. So we're in our fourth grade Strand 2 STEM Academy training and we're learning about app development. What has your experience been so far? Um, so far it's been pretty exciting. I'm still kind of working my way through things because this is new for me so I can already anticipate some of the issues that kids might have as we go along um, and figure out how to use that engineering design loop to go through and um, alter the mind maps or alter the path that we take to make sure that we get the apps the way that we want them to be. What connections could you see for your students moving forward? Um, well, I mean, we've come from making just the remote control cars and putting those together and being excited about those. Uh, in years past, we've done um, the hour of code. And now to really put this into making a functioning, working piece that kids will be able to go and see it live um, and make it work is something that I think they're pretty stoked about. So. It's a very user-friendly website very easy for the teachers to use, it'd be very easy for the students to use as well. There's plenty of support, there are so many things you can do with the website to create that app and so it's very exciting. You have two different ones for the phones depending on the kind of phone we get. In our STEM academies we really have a focus on getting our students to see real world connections. Do you see any real world connections here to what your STEM academy students could be focusing on? Yeah, with technology used as much as it is today having all the apps available and getting ideas from those and then creating your own and being able to showcase that to the world. I think that's a real life situation. You go back to your app, all you have to do is click the edit button. See, you've been one of our STEM Academy program. teachers for several years and we've transitioned the curriculum for the program over the past couple of years to reflect what's happening around the world. How do you see app development making that transition? I see the transition um, quite fluid because our students are working with more technology in the classroom, our assessments are in technology, um, we're asking them to go on technology at home and work on Clever and um, practice reading online as well. Uh, so it's a really nice smooth and they're being able to see the elements on how to actually create the apps and the programs that they're using. 